let's do a quick review to what we have accomplished so far all the cities that we have on, on the control Kyoto, Nagasaki, Nagoya, Tokyo, Sapporo mm, thirsty again <laughs> and we're moving against uh, the American as you guys remember, I'm pretty sure you guys remember, come on <laughs> not been that long since we posted the previous video, right? so yeah, we are attacking the American I got my art artillery, so I'm I got a feeling that I'll be able to to break the American defenses uh, quite easily, especially because they only have pigmen right now defending. Um, well, artillery is quite quite a unit, right? So, see, riflemen. I guess some riflemen in here because I want to leave my artillery alone. That's actually risky. So you see, sometimes you gotta do some little tweaks in order to to fix those mistakes. Like uh, right now, I got my artillery completely defenseless. So now with a rifle, we're in good shape. And again, in Kyoto, with 76 production, it is really remarkable. And uh, and honestly, as soon as we got the communist that will also change a lot that's for sure all right so my army of uh, artillery is like a ripping apart the, the american at this point okay let me see we're gonna we're gonna attack all together from here see the different the odds are too too st strong on behalf of the my army of artillery so it's a no-brainer. Well, those cannons are kind of dangerous, even for my tanks. It's for sure. Just gotta be careful. All right, so it looks like the next turn we should be able to take down that uh, Denver because uh, the last defensive unit was a cannon. So I'm sure he doesn't have any more defensive unit unless he rush. He's rushing probably something as we speak, right? So let's go back to. Start building my stuff. Mm, Tokyo, let me see. Let me get probably the factory first. Yeah, if I get the factory first, I can then move and build the barracks and start pounding some cruisers and uh, all kind of. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. No brainer, blitz again. Even when the you get more a better bonus when you play with the ah forgot and using democracy, I might need to change that because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to finish the the America. In the meantime, we can actually take a very comfortable location to attack Washington. I think there is a hill just in the uh yep. This is a hill right on the left corner, so I'm gonna be attacking from there, and uh, I'm sure my artillery is gonna be very pleased to to get that bonus of 50% for attacking for hills, right? From the top of the hill. What are we doing in Denver? Let's see. We got some very decent science and all the stuff production. I don't know how they do that with this crappy city, right? But we're gonna. Uh, let me see. Pom pom. Put some spies, we can start stealing stuff, right? Um, yeah, switch this one to gold because that's what I'm, I'm trying to do now. Trying to switch everything to gold. We get all my units together because the, the attack is not gonna wait. I'm just gonna try to get oh, nice, trying to get a. Uh, get out of the democracy and uh, we can start actually doing some damage right and the good thing that the Japanese doesn't get affected with anarchy when you do a switch of in in government so that's good we're not gonna be affected in anything so right university is almost ready in Kyoto uh, it looks like a well communist good I'll take it nice factory reducing 33% and I believe we're gonna make the change. Let me see. 
we are always gonna shut down the cathedrals and the temples but I believe it's gonna be a good change at this point because all I want is production so if I can build my army extremely fast uh, let me see fly yeah fly one now I I'm start thinking that I'm gonna go for something like a probably like a technological victory that's what I'm probably aiming right now so let me see if I can build a, another wonder who knows there's a lot of culture in here I got a couple great persons so I don't want to lose that opportunity Ah, uh, the Magna Carta, which is, is going to provide me culture for the for my core house. So, we're doing good. We're doing good. See, we're getting a very, very good. It was actually, it worked on my benefit that uh, we got the peace treatment with the, peace treaty with the, the American, American for a few turns. So now I can regroup and get all my stuff together, all my troops ready, and uh, let's go for it, right? Um, let me use my warrior. I'm gonna want my warrior over there. And then it's time for another row. Okay, because otherwise you start losing too many turns and just moving troops that you can actually move in one turn. You can just move the, tr the troops around the, using the roads, and they can reach their destiny faster. But I'm sure I'm also. There is a reason that I am not really, fam uh, I would say, a big fan of the roads. Uh, the reason is because if somebody attack you and take control of one of those cities with those roads, they can't reach the other city in one turn. Okay, that is kind of dangerous. The, the enemy can also start using that road. So <sighs> we want to try to stay away from that. But right now we have the all the main control, the nucleus of the. The Japanese right now is built between Nagasaki and Kyoto, so we got all the area under control. So I guess it will be fair enough or good enough if we do that, right? Let me see if we have the factory. Support is growing fast, also. Let me see if we can get some spy so we can start stealing stuff. I know the American must have a great person, so let me see. Probably we can steal one of those, right? Boom, boom. How many turns? Yeah, I think it's ten turns for the piece 3D that I that I need to respect. So let me just think about it. What's gonna be next? Got my galleon, and I keep exploring <laughs> and keep collecting gold. That's awesome. We do so good with those guys, right? Jesus Christ. That is great. That is great. And now I gotta get everything set up to attack uh, the American. Because that's gonna be my next objective, that's for sure. But I'm boom. Okay, I got my, my flag, and I can see the American flag also in there. Does that mean that uh, his culture is also present that uh, in Denver? So it will be good to be careful. In case he's trying to flip those cities, right? That's that's important. All right, we got a great. Got that done. Let me see. We got more spies coming. Try to. Yeah, we're gonna get a ring just in case, because I'm sure that no matter which, how fast you attack the enemy, they always gonna have spies in there. So I don't know. They all, I don't know how they do that, but. <laughs> it is what it is. We're not going to get crazy about that. So maybe let me move a little my troops in Denver. So I can like a, have a better use of this, right? I'm going to get another rifleman in there. I would love to keep two armies of riflemen with me, with my tanks. And we're going to leave one on the city. So, looks like Cleopatra is completely dominating the game. <laughs> we finally have the, the Magna Carta. So we have some culture coming from the courthouse. Uh, and now, what's going to be next? That's a great question. I think it's time to start building some ground units. 
and then get support it's uh, probably the two troops that I'm gonna be building a uh, defensive unit I mean a grand unit that means riflemen and tanks probably or artillery and after that is also the yeah that's pretty much mm -hmm. let's see I think we are in very good position to attack the the American so we go for it see we got a 50% extra in attack so we can't go wrong with that we really need to take advantage of that stuff so my army of artillery is actually destroying the pigmen they are actually no match um, all the moment movements were right against the American so look at that that's the palace. The palace. We were able to destroy the palace in just a couple of turns. Oh my God! I thought we were fighting against Attila. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, infiltration. Okay, for the tanks. That's, that's fair enough, because um, for the tank it's easy to to have some uh, trouble engaging cities, not like at the artillery. So with the infiltration, we'll be fine. No, don't try to buy me, dude. dude. That's it. That's it. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm gonna finish Houston. Uh, damn, I got another city in the south. So, why the big? Why do you keep crying, man? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. Washington. What are we doing in Washington? I'm gonna do the wall just in case. I can see the borders of the Egyptian are getting getting very strong in that area. So. That is very risky and kind of scary. So it's time to build walls. In every city that I capture close to the border, I always try to get walls as soon as possible. So I'm sure with the gold that we have been saving, I'm going to be able to rush those walls and everything in case something goes wrong. Okay. Denver, 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 more riflemen. I have my tanks in here. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. But we're not going for domination victory. I know. City love us. We got the great culture. And now we're going to change to communist. Communist. You can see democracy. I'm going to be able to attack. But I'm going to get the bonuses. Mm, decision, decision, decisions. Um, mm. I guess I'm getting enough great people from the uh, from the capital. So I will probably go with communists. Those are the two main. options that I have is democracy or communist right good 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 everything looks okay so far I'm gonna probably start moving my troops against Berlin even though we're still in peace but uh yep yeah, it's really something to consider because uh, we know that the Germany is gonna come no matter what I don't know when but it's gonna come so I'd rather be attacking with the riflemen and artillery and the uh, the tanks and everything, right? Okay, gonna see. We can probably take down Houston now. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. And I scout so I can see what's going on inside the city. This is very useful when you play against people and or against some. Well, no, in another situation, because right now we got all this power under control and everything, so it doesn't make any sense to be doing something like that. Let me see. Overrun. And I believe we got control that one. Houston is ours. I can see the f it's the flag of the Egyptian. So, it's kind of complicated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, go for wall. Um, got my army of tanks in here. I know probably we need to move kind of south. Mm 
Okay. So after a moment of meditation, <laughs> just trying to see what we're doing now because now we get to that part of the game when you need to move a bunch of troops. So you want to make sure that you actually move as many as you can as fast as you can, right? If we're going to attack the the Egyptian, we have to be very careful. I don't know how strong it is since I had in technology and everything and everything actually. So it's going to be a little bit tricky. Mhm. Mm so I'm going to try to if I expand again, we'll be far 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 away from the from that area. See Washington, Houston, they're both producing gold. Trying to get some defensive units. That'll be good. If we can get those. Rifleman, Sapporo, Bank, almost ready. Nara, you have University. Okay. Kyoto, we can also build something. Mm. Kind of buffer right now. What should we do? What should we do? I see. We're gonna go for a. Mhm. Mm but anyway, let's continue in the next video. We're getting very close.